All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is 111 CW1 Writing Equations Park. Or as I notes, we're going to jump right into it. So, problem number one something you would see on the park here is what you would see, like with problem number one. What number one says is that a high school is having a talent contest and will give different prizes for the best five acts in the show. First place wins the most money. And each place after that wins $50 less than the previous place. Part A, you're first going to create a model that can be used to determine the total amount of prize money based on the value of the first place prize. Enter your model in the space provided. So in other words, they're just asking you to write an equation. In part B, as you see below, the talent contest has a total of a $1,000 in prize money. What is the amount of money for each of the five prizes? And you're going to show your work. So you're going to use that equation that you created above. And you're going to find out the prize money for each prize. And yeah, for each place. So let's break it down. Let's find exactly what the park is looking for here. So the park is looking for for a complete score is that a student response includes the following elements. The correct model. For example, in this problem before, they were asking you $50 less. They want $50 less from the first place prize will be the second place prize. The third place prize will be $50 less than the second prize. The third place prize will be thirty um, $50 less than the second place prize. And the fourth place prize will be $50 less than the third place prize. And that's what they're having a representation in the material here. First place gets X amount of dollars. Then second place is X minus 50. So it's the first place money minus $50. The third place is represented by X minus 100 because it's the total, the first place minus 50 from for second place. But this is third place, so it's $50 more. So minus 50 minus 50 is really minus 100. Fourth place is the first place money minus 350s. So you're taking away $350 bills. So whatever first place is minus $150. Fifth place is first place money minus $200 because 50 times four, because it's fourth behind the first place, you're gonna subtract $200 worth and that will equal the prize money. Because you're going to take that prize money and break it apart amongst the five places where first place has the most and each place after that has $50 less than the previous place. Where X is the amount of money for the first place prize and P is the total amount of money of the prize money. The second part of what they're looking for is for you to actually plug it in and find out exactly what price tag each prize is gonna be. So student response needs to include each of the following two elements, correct amounts of for each of the five prizes, and valid work shown. So some an example student response is X plus X minus 50 plus X minus 100 plus X minus 150, X minus 200 equals $1,000. And $1,000 is the prize money. So what we do, we combine like terms, like we practice in class. 1x plus 1x plus 1x plus 1x plus 1x. Well, that's 5x's. They're all on the same side of that equal sign, so we add all those x's together. The negative 50, negative 100, negative 150, and the negative 200, they're also on the same side of that equal sign, all of these integers. So we got to combine all of them. Negative 50 plus negative 100 plus negative 150 minus 200 gets you negative 500. And that's how they get that negative 500 here. You then add 500 to both sides. So 1,000 plus 500 gets you 1,500. Carry down to 5x. Then you break apart a term by either multiplying or dividing. In, the, in this case, it's x times 5. So the inverse operation of times 5 is divide by 5. So 5x divided by 5 gets you 1x. $1,500 divided by 5 gets you 300. What we found, we found the value of x. The value of x is $300, but 
that's also the first place prize money because the first place for, uh, prize money is just X. So the first place gets $300. Then we're going to put that X, 300 in for this X to find out our second place because our second place is X minus 50. So 300 minus 50 is actually 250. Third place prize, you put that X, that 300 in for X, 300 minus 100 gets you 200. So third place got $200. Fourth place, 400, 300 minus 150 gets you 150. So fourth place gets $150. We put that 300 in for this X. 300 minus 200 gets you 100. So fifth place is $100. When you add them all up, 300 plus 250 plus 200 plus 150 plus 100, that will get you 1,000. So it all works out nice. Let's do a couple more. Now, Mr. Brzezowski is having a Mario Kart contest and will be giving out different prizes for the top five grand winners. First place wins the most money, and each place after that wins $70 less than the previous place. Create a model that can be used to determine the total amount of prize money based on the first place prize. So just like what we did before, but now it's a Mario Kart tournament. The tournament consists has a contest has a total of $1,600 in prize money. So you're going to take that $1,600 and you're going to give it to these five grand winners where first place gets the most, last place gets the less, the least, and each place in between is $70 less than the better prize. we got to find out what that grand prize is too in order to do it. So in this case Let X represent the grand prize money. Let's slide it up a little more. So let X represent the grand prize money. There we go. The first place winner gets X amount of dollars. The second place winner gets X amount of dollars minus $70 because the second place is worse than first place as a lot of you guys would already know. The third place gets the grand total money minus $70 and then minus another $70 because they're in third place. Fourth place gets the grand to total money minus $70 minus $70 minus $70 because they came in fourth place. The fifth place gets grand prize minus 70 minus 70 minus 70 minus 70 because they're in fifth place so fifth place gets the least the grand total minus all the 70 bucks once you subtract out all those 70s that value for fifth place is less than fourth place which is less than third place which is less than second place which is less than the first place money so after we write out all these combined like terms and we combine them, kind of combine them and write them out into the equation, we're going to get this guy below. The grand total of money given out is equal to x, first place, plus second place, which is x minus 70, plus third place, which is x minus 140. And how I got that 140 is negative 70 minus 70 gets you negative 140, plus the fourth place, our grand total minus 210, because that's 70, 70, and 70, I'm right here, plus the grand total minus 280, which is 470s being subtracted. And that's first, second, third, fourth, and fifth place. So we do, we put in the grand total, which is 1,600. It's equal to x plus x minus 70. We just copy what we did before up there. We then next combine our like terms, since everything is on the right hand side of the equal sign, we use the same signs that are given in front of the x's. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, plus one. that gets you a total of 5 x's. Now that's also always going to be the number of contestants, or number of grand prize winners, pardon me. So we have 5 x minus 700. Now 700, how I got that number is negative 70 minus 140 minus 210 and minus 280 gets you negative 700. 
So now we got a nice smaller equation that you guys are used to working with. We add 700 to both sides, we get 2300 equals 5x. We divide by 5 to both sides, and we get x equals 460 down below here. So 460 is our grand prize winner. So 460 goes for first place. 460 minus 70 gets you 390, that will be second place. We subtract another 70 from second place, and we get 320. 320 minus 70 is 250 for the fourth place winner. Minus another 70 gets you 180. That's for the fifth place winner. So a pretty good payout for this prizes here. Let's move on to the next one. Jake is having a DK racing tournament and will be giving out different prizes for the top four grand winners. First place wins the most money, and each place after that wins $20 less than the previous place. Previous place. Create a model that can be used to determine the total amount of prize money based on the first, first place prize. The tournament contest has a total of $1,200 in prize money. What is the amount of money for each of the four prizes? Show your work. So it's the same thing that we did before. So now it's a DK racing game. Instead of $70 less, we're doing $20 less. And instead of five grand winners, we're actually going to just do four grand winners. So our equation is going to be a little bit smaller. So let's take a look at it. So we have let X represent the grand prize money. The first place winner gets X amount of dollars. The second place winner gets the grand prize money minus 20 bucks because they're in second place, so you're going to subtract 20 bucks from first place. Now it'll find us the second place cash value. Third place, we'll get the grand total money minus the 20, because he's not in second place. But yes, yeah, so let's subtract another 20 to record the third place one. So I have to minus 20 twice, because it's third place. He's the second loser. So since he's the second loser, he gets two minus 20s. Fourth place is the third loser of the game, of the tournament, so they get three minus 20s. After we combine like terms, we can write out an equation, grand total of money given out, in this case is 1,200, and here's our equation. Our first place winner gets x, the, the uh, second place winner is x minus 20, third place is x minus 40, and fourth place is x minus 60, because we just combined our like terms. Then we're going to combine our x's. We get 4x because there's four grand winners. Minus 120 because we got that from negative 20 minus 40 minus 60 gets you negative 120. And uh, 1,600. Wait a minute. That's supposed to be 1,200. Yeah, 1,200. Yeah, fix that equation. I'll ungroup it. One thousand two hundred equals four x minus one twenty. What we do first, we add one twenty to both sides. So we're gonna get one thousand two hundred plus one twenty gets you one thousand three hundred twenty equals 4x. We take that number, we divide by 4 to each side. And we're going to get x equals, well we're not going to get that number. Well 1,200 is divisible by 4 and that's $300 each. And then I got another 120. That would be another 30 bucks. So it's going to be $330. And that's what 1320 divided by 4 is. 300 times 4 gets you 1200. 30 times 4 gets you 120. 1200 plus 120 gets you 1320. So we got to adjust our winners a little bit. First place doesn't get 430. They actually get 330. 
second place should be ten, uh, twenty dollars less. So that should be three ten. Third place will be twenty dollars less, so that should be two hundred ninety. And fourth place should be two hundred seventy dollars. And that's our answer. Last problem here that we gotta do together. Betty is having a dancing showcase and will be giving out different prizes for the top uh, top eight grand winners. First place wins the most money and each place after that wins $10 less than the previous place. Create a model that can be used to determine the total amount of prize money based on the first place prize. The tournament contest has a total of $5,400 in prize money. What is the amount of money for each of the eight prizes? Show your work. So this is going to be a lot of work because there's eight prizes. They're like having lots of winners here. So we'll slide this up. And hopefully run, everything runs nice and smooth here. So let X represent the grand prize money. The first place winner gets X amount of dollars. Because we've got to figure that out, find out the value of X. The second place winner gets the grand prize money minus 10, because that's what they said in the word problem. That's what's given to us. We subtract $10 from each place. Starting from the second place on forward. So second place, you do subtract $10. The third place We'll subtract $10 from the second place. So you have X minus 10 minus the $10. Fourth place is taking your third place and subtracting another $10. Fifth place is taking our fourth place minus another $10. After we combine all like terms, we can write out the equation. So we also have sixth place, which is you subtract another $10. Then seventh place, which is another $10. And eighth place, you subtract another $10. So it keeps going on and on and on. It gets bigger and bigger. So let's just make it a little bit smaller here. Grand total number of given out. Let's combine our like terms. X plus X minus 10 plus X minus 20 plus X minus 30 plus X minus 40 plus X minus 50 plus X minus 60 and then X minus 70. Whew, that's a lot. But that's first place, second place, third place, fourth place, fifth place, sixth place, seventh place, and eighth place. Those are our eight winners. So let's put all that into an equation. Our grand total of money is 5,400 equals all our places. There's eight contestants or eight uh, grand prize winners. So there should be eight X's, which we have eight X's. Then we combine our like terms, negative 10 minus 20 minus 30 minus 40 minus 50 minus 60 minus 70. And that's how we get that minus 280. Add 280 to both sides. 5,680 equals 8x, divide by 8 to both sides, and we get x equals 710. That means our first place winner gets $710, second place winner gets $700, third place 690, fourth place 680, fifth place 670, sixth place 660, seventh place 650, eighth place 640. All right, ladies and gents, there's four more problems for you guys needing to do in class. And then involves Brianna having an epic Pokemon tournament. Yana is having a fun Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. I need you to find out all those grand prize winners. Batman is having a fun ping pong tournament. And Bob is having an egg toss tournament. So I need you to find out all the prize monies for each and one of all those specific amount of grand winners. All right, make sure you get that done before the end of class and submit your work on the Google form. Have yourself a good night now. Bye-bye.